All right, this one is right up my alley. Chocolate could be just as good for the heart as high blood pressure medication. <laughs> you don't want to miss this. Hi there, I'm the Study Finds guy, Jeff Allen, and that is in a new report at Study Finds. Now, please be sure to like and subscribe to get all of our latest updates. Now, studies continue to show that cocoa flavanols can lower blood pressure and arterial stiffness just like the best blood pressure medications. Woohoo! Here's where it gets good. Get ready to share this. Scientists that once had some concern that consuming cocoa when your blood pressure is normal or low could lower it even further are pointing to a study that finds there's nothing to worry about. Researchers in Australia say cocoa only lowers blood pressure when it's abnormally high. <laughs> Dreams can come true. The new study notes that previous experiments have only looked at cocoa's beneficial impact on the heart under tightly controlled conditions. This has made it unclear as to whether cocoa also lowers blood pressure in already healthy people. For people who love chocolate, this doesn't mean you should run out to the store and buy a case of Hershey bars. Hey, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> what? Who wrote that? Chocolate that contains higher levels of cocoa will be the most beneficial, but don't forget that chocolate treats can also contain high levels of sugar and fat. I know, I know, I know. Talk about a buzzkill. Seriously though, I am not a doctor, so any thoughts of using cocoa for lowering blood pressure should be discussed with your doctor first. The team from the University of Surrey says the study is one of the first to look at cocoa consumption and its impact on the heart in a real-world scenario. In their study, 11 healthy people... <laughs> 11? Okay. In their study, 11 healthy people consume six cocoa flavanol capsules or six placebo capsules on alternate days for a week. Each participant received an upper arm blood pressure monitor and a finger clip measuring pulse wave velocity. That's PWV to their friends. That actually gauges a patient's arterial stiffness. The group took these readings every 30 minutes after consuming cocoa or the brown sugar placebos for three hours. They continued to monitor their blood pressure and pulse wave velocity hourly for another nine hours after that. Okay, 11 people is something to think about here. That doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just something to consider. Results show that consuming cocoa only led to lower blood pressure and arterial stiffness in participants where these readings were already high. There was no effect when blood pressure was low. Moreover, the study was also the first to find an additional peak in cocoa's beneficial effect eight hours after consumption. The team believes this second peak in the readings likely has a connection to how bacteria in the gut metabolizes cocoa flavanols. Well, that's cool. I can't help but get excited about this. I know less sugar, more cocoa. Got it. Talk to your doctor first. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.